So, I, I had previously recorded this, but I didn't actually end up getting it working due to our um, Wi-Fi crashing at the time. Um, so now I'm going to retry it. I have the PyDA right here, which is my prototyping platform for Raspberry Pi thing because it's fully integrated, um, which is actually really useful. Um, I haven't actually used it as a PDA at all, but I, I, I have used it to test out some Raspberry Pi code like I will be doing now. So it is booting up, presumably. Doesn't normally take this long, which is slightly worrying, but there it goes. Um, you can see it has loaded the screen again has some damage. I think I addressed that in the previous videos on the Pi DA and I did actually get a refund on the screen. I just never bothered replacing it because it's not actually that important. Um, and it's not as bad in person as it is on camera. So here, here we have, um, what's it called? It has some stupid name. It's like Sigwin or something along those lines. Um, and it's a Linux subsystem for Windows. So we will SSH into this Raspberry Pi here, which I actually should check the IP on because I don't actually know that. So we will pull up a new Chrome window. Um, go to my router management page on this other monitor. Um, Yay, Optimum. Okay. Nope, that's not the password, but that is the password. There we go. So I I'm using this tutorial, which is on the Raspberry Pi forums. Um, here's what it's called. You can just Google it. It'll come up. Um, so previously, I got about as far as this first command and then I actually the Wi-Fi crashed so we're just gonna start this um, and then we're gonna um, pause the video so you guys don't have to keep watching this um, and then we'll come back later when this is done because this should take a while to download and I already did connect to the Wi-Fi because I need, obviously need to connect to the Wi-Fi in order to download these things. So this should really be the first step. Um, but there's that. So see you in 20 minutes to half an hour, I'm willing to bet. Based on what this... I don't know. I, I just feel like this is going to take that long as it took a while previously and then the Wi-Fi crashed. So after I installed these uh, packages here, um, which actually took only about 10 minutes, so you have to reboot before continuing, so that's what it's doing right now. I just rebooted it. Um, and so it's booting up right now. Um, and, and then you're going to go ahead um, and connect well, you would have had to connect to Wi-Fi already to download these packages, but you're going to um, start going here and configuring the Ethernet for static IP. Um, so once this thing comes back online, that's what we're going to do, which is almost there. Um, so SSH back in. And then while we wait for SIGWIN to load, 
Um, so that's what it's called. It's called Sigwin. I think. But. Anyways. Um, wonderful. It timed out. Possible the IP changed. Um, here, let's check. I'm going to check this way this time because, yep, the IP changed. So you can see the IP over there on the screen. Well, you no, know, you can't because the camera's not focused because it's a webcam. But there's the new IP. You can see it on this screen. Um, right there. Oh, no, I'm on that other monitor. Right there. You can't really see the mouse cursor, but, you know. Um, I could also pull off the Microsoft remote uh, desktop connection thingy. Um, I mean, which this should connect to this VLC viewer that I'm running on here. Um, though I'm surprised SSH isn't working. And that didn't work. Why is this not working? No, not Gpart. Well, I should be connected to the Wi-Fi. Um, oh, it, it, the IP changed again. That's the problem. Stupid repeatedly changing IP. You don't know why it changed again. It's possible I assigned it a static IP, but you would think it would negotiate that at startup. So it changed back to what it was before. Um, and there we go. Um, so now we're connected. So now we can go do this, which... I, I might have already explained this in the previous in the previous clip, but I'm actually not going to show that because it didn't work for some reason. But sudo gives us root privileges. Nano is a text editor, and then um, that this is a file um, in a directory. So here's the file in the directory. Um, so we're going to need to comment out the existing Ethernet zero line. Um, the iFace ETH0. Here we go. iFace ETH0 INET manual. So they said, comment this out. Um, which you do by adding a hashtag or a pound key in front of it. And then you paste in this new lines, which is, you know, an existing configuration. So it gives it a static INET address, um, which the INET has to do with the IP and the subset mask, um, and other information like that. Um, and it allows the hot plug of the Ethernet, which... 
I, I'm surprised we need to state that. I'm surprised that's not enabled by default, but I guess it's not. Um, let me put this back like that so it's properly in shot. Um, so we are going to exit out. Save, yes. Yes. There we go. Um, so now we're going to move this old file as and save it as an original. And then we're going to make a new one. So, yeah, go. Okay, so I saved it as .og instead of o, o, I mean .or instead of ORIG, but that's fine. That's just a file extension. Linux doesn't particularly care about those, um, especially within the terminal. So here we go. Um, and then this is what we're doing here. Which I actually don't really know what this does. It has some comments that explain. Um, but beyond that, I, I can't tell you much. And it didn't copy. Wonderful. Wonderful Windows, you're the best operating system. Copy. Did it not select? I used the stupid select all button up there, but copy. There we go. So there it all is. There was some delay in pasting it in. So now we're going to exit. There's going to be some delay in the prompt coming up, clearly. Um, and we're going to save you. And we're going to write it to there. Doing this over SSH isn't like modifying network settings over SSH probably isn't a great idea. Because I'm probably going to end up killing the network at some point. Um, but. I, I just realized that. So we're going to uncomment the following line about here. Um, so net or comp forward one. Here's filter. Okay, here it is. So you can't. I keep pointing at my actual screen, but I'm using proper screen recording. So, you know, that doesn't work. Um, there's quite a bit of lag. I think I've mentioned that before. And this is all in a terminal, so I don't have a mouse function. I don't know if I have mentioned that before. But, like, there, there's so much lag right now, I can't even actually do anything. I've hit the down arrow key several times and nothing is happening. Okay, it, it just moved. Uh, it, it just caught up. Um, and you can see this is the line we want to uncomment here. So we are going to uncomment that. Um, and then we are going to. In the so then we did that. So now we're going to exit. You can save. And then we're going to enter this command, which modifies our IP tables. And then we're going to configure it to load this up on boot. C. 
sudo nano to create a new text file here. And then within this text file, we're going to enter this command. Um, in this text file, I believe... No, I... So, th so this text file should be executed on boot, I think, is what's happening. So we're going to save. And then we should be able to reboot and connect to Wi-Fi. So we're going to enter the command sudo reboot, which should reboot our Raspberry Pi. As you can see, it just rebooted. Um, we're going to make this image bigger. Though the resolution doesn't increase because this is a really bad webcam. Let's have some magnets. Um, and then let us grab a device to test the Ethernet with. Um, Plug in the Ethernet. And then this is a USB to Ethernet, which we are just going to plug into my desktop because the cable I have here isn't long enough to reach my native Ethernet port. Um, Then we're gonna load up settings. Wonderful, it's malfunctioned. Um, huh, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. So it doesn't work. I probably um, lost some footage when I blew the ground fault interrupt. Um, and it hangs at boot up right here. Um, and I thought that was fine, but it isn't because it's not working. Um, so unless dot 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 is pressed, I don't know what dot 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 is. Um, so I'm going to try to figure out what that is. That's what I've started doing here. And I'll guess I'll finish this up some other time, but that is attempting to do Wi-Fi bridging, Ethernet, whatever, on a Raspberry Pi, and it doesn't work very well. Um, which is just great. I love it when this doesn't work very well. I mean, like, you can't really see it. Because, oh, and now it just crashed. Wonderful. Bye, Raspberry Pi.